burning through sanding discs here, just getting all of the um, screw holes from this to uh, sand and smooth. I got using 220 um, grit sandpaper, and it's very time consuming. So, you know, it gives you an idea of what we're looking at. But it's all smooth once it gets done, and then it's ready for paint. can see I am starting to caulk all of the seams of the wood so th there's a lot of seams especially in this area right here where I have five or whatnot thin boards um, all of those seams had to be caulked and I'm using DAP brand Dynaflex 230 and I'm using the white mainly everywhere except for the areas that have the pr the already stained trim, I use that same product, but in the clear version. So here we have the beginning of the priming stage. We got Kills number three premium primer. It's water based. Uh, it's a nice consistency. It's kind of creamy. It's it's nice. It's nice to work with, and it's supposed to have mold prohibitors or inhibitors or something like that. That's better than normal so we'll see if it works just a little update here it's uh it's always an update that's the only reason why we film but uh what, what are we doing it's been a while so we took a break and now we're back at it and we're working on the interior paint and mainly prepping for paint i sanded everything down got everything ready and then we caulked all of the seams which you can see here um, this in the bunk area there's a lot of seams so it's just pretty easy to to get an idea and right now as you can see the tape doing this long process it's like very long so you got to tape everything off because that was the decision I made to put the trim up first mm, whatever we got to keep taping and hopefully today we get to paint the primer that's the that's the goal today what do you think you're doing? Mucking it up. Here's the beginning of the priming on the interior. Again, using the Kills number three premium primer. And it's, you know, that's the way it's going here. So that was the bunk. Now, where are we at? Oh, we're in the kitchen. I got you on the counter there. And, uh, that's like the nook area, I call it. We got, see, the taped off trim. Uh, and then you take the tape off when the paint is wet so that you don't have issues. Now I'm in the dinette area, painting the interior of the uh, cabinet, as you saw there. And then here we got the cohesive green, buddy. Cohesive green. And that's the uh, first paint. That was the actual top coat that we chose to paint, and this is all in the bunk. And all the walls in the bunk are the cohesive green. And uh, then we kind of extended that as on the fly over there to the kitchen and then the dinette. Here is the second color green on those walls. It's called recycled glass. Here is the, I got you in the nook, and we got the yellow paint started, and that's like the kitchen dinette area.
Well, I'm not a painter, and I don't work on houses normally, but we're uh, doing the old paint situation over here in the camper, and I couldn't resist myself. I had to go with something I know, working on vehicles. There you go, interior of the cabinets, oil-based, semi-gloss white. That is what we're going with because I figured I want a little bit more durability. It might be a mistake. We'll find out. Guess what? It ain't getting changed. It's what's going in there. Let's keep them rolling. Completed. All right, so we have, of course, I have to start the video with all right. So, all right, we have 99.73% of the painting done, interior of the camper, and we have Fawn Brindle, we got Sherm Sharunal, right here, Sherm Sharunal. We, we picked the color swatches, and we have a light green, we have a light gray, Fawn Brindle. A lot of it is only one coat, because I didn't want to do it twice, and we, we ran our heavy, real heavy. So there's some spots, it's not perfect, but it's a camper. It's all exterior, latex, satin paint, except for the trim is semi, it's the same thing, but just semi-gloss. Got all this stuff back, you know, it's just putting stuff back together after you take it all apart for painting, like the lights and everything else. Oh, and the, oh, and the ceiling, what the heck? There's another one, ceiling, I forget, but it's white. Exterior satin as well. It's nice, and I'm really happy with it. I think it's making it look different, making it look more like it should, and uh, we're gonna call it, we're calling it for this video. That's it. It's been long enough. What's out there?